Do you ever wonder which of your campaigns performed the best? Well, Hyped It now shows you at the click of a button. Hey, it's John here. For those of you who don't know me yet, I'm the founder of one of the largest music promotion platforms in the world called Hyped It. I'm an independent music artist with over 10 million streams on Spotify, but most important, I've helped over 10,000 artists and bands grow their music to over 100 million streams together on Spotify. Every two weeks, I host a live Zoom meeting called the VIP Circle. And the number one question I get asked is this, John, which of my campaigns should I keep running and which ones should I stop? This is a really good question because to get the most listeners streams and fans on spotify i found it's best to frequently shift my promo budget to my best performing campaigns this has been a super important tactic in going from zero to over 10 million streams for me i actually have an entire video on this that you can check out right here but to successfully move your budget to your best performing campaigns you need to know which ones they are, which ones are the best performing campaigns. Before, this involved a bunch of digging in the analytics for each campaign and then comparing numbers. But now, there's a much easier and faster way to let Hype to tell you exactly how your campaigns rank. I can't wait to show you over on my screen, so let's get to it. I'm logged into Hypedit. I'm looking at my ad campaigns dashboard right over here. And by default, Hypedit shows me the newest campaigns towards the top of the list. But this isn't always helpful when you want to compare campaigns based on performance. What you really want to know is which one of my campaigns gives me the highest fan engagement rate or which one of my campaigns gives me the lowest cost per click. And you don't need to know what those numbers were months ago you need to know what these numbers are now because campaign performance is always changing it's going up and down so what really matters is what were those numbers for the last seven days or the last 28 days and this is what hyped it can now tell you by default you can see the engagement rate and cost per click for any of your campaigns on your dashboard but these are all time numbers for the entire lifetime of your campaign and so to allow you to see literally with one click which of your campaigns is performing best right now, we added some new sorting options here. I can now sort my campaigns not only by newest and oldest, but I can literally sort them by my most engaged campaigns over the last 28 days or the last seven days or the lowest cost per result for the last 28 days or seven days. My favorite time window are 28 days. Those are a little bit more reliable numbers relative to seven days. So I make most of my decisions based on 28 day numbers. I'll come here and just say, hype to show me the most engage campaigns for the last 28 days. And this is what I get. One of my tracks here, I feel it jumps to the top with 45.5% engagement rate over the last 28 days, followed by I wanna love you and so on and so forth. And then on top of this, I can also say, now show me the lowest cost per result campaigns. And then I see all night jumping to the top here with 19 cents cost per click is still a pretty good engagement rate. And I feel it comes in a number two. So clearly I feel it was top position on engagement at second position cost per click. So that definitely is a campaign that outperforms some of my others. And as I'm moving budget around, it might be wise to move some of it over to I feel it. And in my case, all night is a little bit of a newer track. So I think the engagement rate still has some headroom in it, but the cost per click is absolutely amazing. So that is also one of my winning campaigns. So when you ever ask yourself again, which ones of my hyped campaigns should I keep running? And which one should I turn off? Then just use this new sorting feature here to instantly see which ones are your top and bottom performers. With that said, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell buttons below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube. And if you'd like to discover how I use just two simple tools to grow my music on Spotify from zero to now millions of streams, then check out this next clip right here. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Grow Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Grow Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast, and it's extremely easy to set 
set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you want to get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state-of-the-art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify growth switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.